everyone! Welcome to Panicle Math Mania. Today, we will be using math as our superpower to learn about area. Frank is trying to learn the difference between perimeter and area. His teacher, Mr. Archer, steps in to help him. Mr. Archer explains that perimeter is the distance around a 2D shape. He uses the example of Frank walking all the way around Adam Smith Square. As he walks, he travels the perimeter of the square. Next, Mr. Archer gives an example for the area. The area of Adam Smith Square would be a measurement of the space the square occupies, or the space inside of the square. Area, simply put, is how we measure the size of a surface. For example, think about TVs or monitors. The bigger the surface of the monitor, the greater its area. We measure area in square units. That could be square centimeters, square meters, or even square kilometers. Now, how do we calculate the area of a surface? For rectangles, we find the area by multiplying the length by its breadth. For instance, if we have a rectangle that is 8 units long and 5 units wide, the area of the rectangle will be found by multiplying 8 units by 5 units. This gives us an area of 40 units squared. We can do the same with squares, but take note that the length and the breadth of squares are the same. All sides of a square are of equal length. This makes the area of formula side by side or side squared. For example, if we have a square with sides of length 9 meters, to find its area, we multiply side by side. This gives us 9 meters multiplied by 9 meters, which equals 81 meters squared. We can use the formula above to help us determine the area of composite shapes. We can split them up into squares and rectangles and combine their areas. For example, when looking at the following shape, we can split it into two rectangles. The rectangle on top has a length of 4 meters and a width of 7 meters. And the rectangle below has a length of 12 meters and a width of 3 meters. We can find the area of each rectangle separately and then add the areas together. The area of the first rectangle is 4 meters multiplied by 7 meters, which gives us 28 meters squared. The area of rectangle number 2 is 12 meters multiplied by 3 meters, which gives us 36 meters squared. The total area would be the sum of the two areas. Our total area is therefore 28 meters squared added to 36 meters squared giving a total of 64 meters squared. Thank you for visiting Math City. I hope you had fun learning with me today. Try the Pentacool exercises to earn points and win great prizes.